Welcome to To The Barns Bookings. We're going to show you from the first step how you can set up an event for your organization, company, or just yourself as a professional trainer. So first of all, if you've not already joined To The Barn, you should uh, set uh, create your profile. But if you're already joined, you just log in as usual. Once you've logged in, you take yourself to being the profile that wants to create the event. So this could be a brand profile, a professional profile, a group profile, or a venue profile. And if you need to create one, then this is how you create a new profile. So we are now being our brand profile, and you'll see in the left-hand menu that there's an option called My Events. So we click the My Events, and in the top right, there's an Add an Event button. And also there's a setup guide if you need any help to remember these instructions that we're going through now. So there are very few fields that are actually compulsory and those are flagged with a asterisk. One of the things that you do need to do is have a image for your event. So once that's in there and you've got a name for your event, you fill out the other mandatory fields. And then fill out the pertinent information, for example, the address. And what's very helpful is that you, if you have a zip code or postcode that doesn't completely tally with the actual location, there's a way of adjusting the pin on the Google map um, to be specifically exactly within feet of where you would like it to be. And then you add their contact information. And this is very important because this is the email address that the um, notifications when people book will come to. And then we set up the classes if this is a competition or maybe a clinic. Um, or you can use these classes for even groups for hunt rides. So this is the generic information that you put at the top. And then we go into the individual specific classes. Again, there's very few of the fields that are mandatory, but there's a lot of extra fields here that you can use. For example, if this is a team competition, you can say that you need up to four riders to make up a team. On the next page, if you've got any spectators, you can add ticketing information. There's also staying information for stabling or horse boxes. There's catering information and finally trade stand information. But all of these are flexible and it's up to you whether you want to use the fields or not. So now the event page has been created and it's very easy to edit it if you want to just by going to the My Events again. And then once you're in the view of My Events, there is an edit button, which is the pencil. So the edit button allows you to just go back in and make any changes that you want to make or add any inf additional information that you'd like to add. So here we're just adding some additional classes. And then we save it and you're back to your home page. The location is shown at the bottom of the info page, and this is the pin that can be moved to exactly the point that you would like it to show on the map. And then just to show you how you would manage your event once you have entries, your entries will be notified to you by email as each entry is made, but you can also go in here and see who has entered which classes. It also gives you the facility to uh, put sections into your classes and to note if anybody's withdrawn. So here is your event as it will be seen by all. Thank you for watching. 
and we look forward to helping you administer your bookings effortlessly.